So Scott, tell us all about EDM Dress. What is it? EDM Dress is the dressing or profiling of diamond, CBN, uh, uh, metal bonded wheels, hybrid bond wheels, and also PCD dresses. All grinding wheels, though? This is All grinding talking. wheels or things associated with the grinding process. Okay, because before I came in here today, I was thinking to myself, um, there's a conventional way of doing this, a way that I've seen in, in many businesses uh, here and around Europe for many years. What's the difference? So the biggest difference is in a conventional dresser, uh, you're rubbing the form in, you're crushing the form, and almost creating a polished surface. What EDM dress does is it removes the bond around the diamond or CBN grains, for example, and opens up the wheel. And you're doing that using this Mitsubishi wire cut machine, is that correct? That's correct, yes. Okay, and what's the overall advantages then to this process? Yes, yeah, so by doing this and by opening up uh, the wheel, what we do is we give somewhere for the swarf to go. By giving somewhere for the swarf to go, it means we get a much uh, cooler cut in action, less heat into the part. It also means that we can increase feed rates. We have less um, spindle loads building up on, on, on the spindle, uh, so we can get longer wheel life as well. Okay, so what do all, the, all of these advantages mean to an end user that adopts this strategy compared to a conventional method? What are they gonna gain? Okay, so first of all, it's real, really easy to operate. Um, but uh, the, the more important thing is you can get your wheels dressed, uh, dressed without anyone actually at the machine, first, firstly. Uh, you can put in complex forms should you need to. Um, but then when you get the wheel back, it's gonna cut faster, it's gonna have less spindle load, it's, it, it's, it's gonna perform far better. I always think breakage is a key part to these as well. I mean, if we pick one of these up, the, these aren't cheap, are they? No, and, no and I was the, quite surprised. By the cutting method <laughs> yes. that you're talking about, and the fact that it's a much more open environment means there's kind of less stress in there, so it's less brittle, would that be the right word to it? It's less likely yeah, to it's, smash? Yeah, it's less brittle, and, and it's also because the pores are more open, um, it, it, it cuts better. What, uh, installation that we've just recently done, um, you know, I asked about spindle speeds and fees, etc. but the, the biggest thing for them, we said, Scott, you just wouldn't believe, we've not broken any wheels. And we're normally breaking one wheel per week on all the different machines, and there's a serious number of machines. Now, if I do this, can I, feel, I'm, I, can, I can feel a difference yes. on that, that OD yes. there. Yes. And is, that, is that, that a key point? Is that how you illustrate to people? Yeah, you know, the colour tool grinding people, uh, for example, we, we, as soon as they touch that wheel, their eyes light up. What is that? What, what's, you know, that's different. I can feel the difference in that wheel. And that's thanks to this strategy. Yes. Okay, how am I going to program it? What's the, uh, is it easy? Okay, so we have a, a dedicated program system. Very, very easy to use. Simply import a DXF of the front form. Could be a 1A1 or complex form. Um, the operator, all he has to do is put in the, what we call the flange distance and the diameter of the wheel. Then there's a, a guide in the top left hand corner of the screen that works, in, well, pushes the operator step by step through the process where he can put in how much he wants to take off that, and the cam system also calculates the most economic or fastest way to actually cut that uh, particular form, for example, if he's got a form in the wheel, to give him the best result before finally uh, making NC. So taking this Mitsubishi machine, it is very, very easy to learn the program inside there. Oh, yeah, 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 absolutely. So typically in a normal EDM installation, you know, it's a full week's training and everything. If someone's got the EDM dress package, um, and uh, they're looking to dress diamond wheels or CBM wheels, um, typically they're up and running in a couple of days and uh, then after that we're just holding their hand really. Okay, now with a machine like this and with any solution, there's always costs, I know there's savings, we've talked about mm. those, but is it gonna be more expensive for me to run this machine, to purchase it, the consumable element? Is uh, there any disadvantage? No, um, no but I think uh, uh, a lot of factors come together. Um, so you've got, first of all, the cost of your dresses and the dirty, dusty process, etc. But when you then start to look at savings on wheels and also the extra output that you can get, and the cut of tool machines, you know, cut of tool grinders, for example, are very, very expensive. But the actual operating cost of the machine, very, very cheap. And then the measurement. How am I checking my results? Yeah, so um, in, in the grinding industry, they have uh, uh, checking machines for checking the diameters and flange distance and forms. Uh, we're working together with Zola, uh, where they can check against the DXF to show you exactly how accurate that is. And then if I wanted to automate, because I imagine that's something that's of interest, certainly to the industries 
where this would be applicable, the cutting tools and so forth? Yeah, so automation, we move into what we call the diamond cell, Mitsubishi's diamond cell. Uh, when the operator opens the loading bay, that automatically triggers him to, to uh, let's say, assign a, a package uh, uh, into, into the machine tool. Uh, the 24 position magazine that's loaded by our Melfa robot uh, takes it through uh, to the axis. Uh, when he's creating the job, uh, the machine or the, uh, the master cell software automatically asks him to generate uh, the diameters, which then gives him automatically the spindle speeds, feeds, etc. And also then creates a pack. So that stays with the wheel throughout the process. And of course, things like um, uh, RFID scanners and uh, 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 barcodes and chip codes. Can all, can all be applied to all, this? All, all be applied. And you had a cracking open day here a few weeks ago and your doors are always open. Um, final few points, why should people come and talk to you about this, Scott? It's pretty exciting, isn't it? So the first thing I'd say is if you think you know dressing and you've not seen this, then you need to come and look. Um, and just from the response we had from the open day, um, you know, straight away people were engaging. I've got, I've got wheel packs coming out my ears. Um, so, you know, and people are gonna, gonna be testing, looking at reduced spindle load, looking at faster uh, cutting, ease of operation, you know, just the whole workflow, making the whole workflow a lot, lot more simple and a lot more reliable.